All right, today we are settling a debate. So you can see this, uh, you know, contaminants in this water here, uh, mostly floating to the top, but you can see it, you know, when the cell's active and obviously when you mix it up like that. This is, some claim to be hexavalent chromium, which is a harmful compound. Uh, specifically from the deterioration of the stainless steel plates or tubes, in my case, of the uh, 304 stainless steel that I'm using. Now, everything that I've read online, yada yada, said this is done through the electrolysis process. This is the degradation of the stainless steel tubes. This, however, is something that I want to contest because my cells are running at one amp or less in typical situations. These have been running for a number of minutes, hours. It's hard to say, compile, I need a timer, maybe test, but a significant amount of time to where there's significant buildup in those cells, which I believe is from the contaminants in the water, as Stanley Meyer states and not the hexavalent chromium as you know portrayed by you know everybody online articles etc these little test kits here are going to basically measure the amount of hexavalent chromium in my cells in my water bath so we have a uh, grade here of how much contaminants we're going to fill up this with some water do a series of tests and we're going to find out just what is in my water is it dangerous hexavalent chromium or the chromiums let's find out safety first and do not try this at home this test is only for experienced home inventors we have filled the test capsule for the next part, we are taking you outside to cut this and fill the container with our test solution. We'll be right back. This is Stan's Revenge. The payload is now inserted and now we shake. How long it says shake well, so I think this is well enough. Now we wait for six minutes. Later. Okay, here we are, here we are. You can see that the water itself is not is not purple, did not change color whatsoever. However, we do have these itty bitty specks of it seems to be purple. Yes, little purple specks in the water. Tiny little bits of them. Kind of some down there behind that, uh, there's bubbles right there. The uh, sediment, I guess that we're seeing in the actual solution, if this test be correct, appears to have the uh, chromium in it. So, that being said, we think we need another test with maybe a more concentrated solution to see what kind of levels we are actually at and uh, maybe we'll go from there all right so for this one instead of mixing it all up we'll let that uh sediment settle at the top of it and maybe try to skim some off and do a test of just the sediment itself all right here's test number two let's uh, give it six minutes just in time for the best game ever made all right test number two here you can see, maybe just see a little bit of that purple contaminants in the background here. Let me see if I can focus in on that manually. All right, zooming in here on this, we're going to try to manually adjust the focus here to get beyond those bubbles. And maybe see those little purple floaties in there. Next, I'll just try to uh, get some sediment together and uh, try to just test maybe some sediment, a really concentrated solution. Because, you know, as far as a danger zone of like parts per whatever, per the water I've been having here, I wouldn't even consider that a 0 0.01 contamination per volume. So. 
quote, relatively safe given the water volume that we're dealing with here. So, especially since that first one was th pretty thoroughly mixed up. We'll maybe do a concentrate here and see if we can get a reading on that. Two hours later. All right, you can see a little bit left in there, the darker spots, but I took a syringe and pretty much extracted all of the uh, dredge contaminants at the bottom here. I'm going to let them settle in the bottom of that um, syringe there and fill this thing up with hopefully a very concentrate of that for testing. A few moments later. All right, so now we have a uh, solid sample, I believe, um, of this. There's quite a bit of sediment um, in this one up to maybe that uh, point zero, I'm sorry, point eight mark there. Uh, we're gonna give it some uh, time here and see what happens. All right, results are in. Dude, what happened to uh, all our purple we had in there? We had a lot of sludge in there, a lot. And uh, I don't see dang near any purple in there at all like this has been well over six minutes that i leave it in there too long is there only a window do i have to run the test again i mean according to this test there ain't nothing in there according to this test there is no hexavalent chromium in this water bath. Now I'm gonna run another test here and I'm gonna to try to get the most concentrated amount I can of that. If that be the case, if there's no chromium detected, that means it's not our cells deteriorating. As Stan Meyer states, what we are seeing is contaminants of the water bath being released into the water. And if that be the case, that means that the Water fuel cells, also a mineral extractor, and also water purification, because everything is basically left in the water bath. There is no contaminants in the hydrogen oxygen gas leaving the cell. So, I mean, that's pretty uh, confirmed right there, but we're going to do some more tests to uh, double up our results. This is Stan's Revenge. I've got some more poured into there and the rest poured into there. We're going to see if it uh, settles, if I can skim it off, or see how concentrated I can get that mix. All right, I have essentially distilled and concentrated into this container here. I'm going to let it distill just one more time and then extract the components from it. All right, we've got some real good sludge there at the bottom. All right, now we've got the super concentrate loaded in the syringe and we are going to let that settle. Here we have just a pile of sludge from the cells. There is a vial of sludge. All right, look at that. This will be a solid test. A few moments later. All right, this is it. We have all the uh, sediment at the bottom. It is definitely a brown, dark color, almost blackish brown, but we still we have no purple whatsoever in this. Quite interesting how we have maybe just a little bit of purple in that first uh, batch, but uh, maybe maybe I was uh, not looking at it right. I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. We'll have to review. But I mean, clearly if this this stuff here is the chromium byproduct of the stainless steel. This would certainly be very purple, giving us the concentrated uh, means of it here. Just there's there's no there's no indication that this is hazardous or toxic in any way based on this test here. Giving it a good shake up here. There's clearly no purple whatsoever in this, from uh, anything I can tell. Just uh, no reaction to the uh, chemical compound. There's no purple. There's no chromium uh, is my final decision. I think what I might do here is just go ahead and just put in another packet, maybe two, just to see if there's any type of uh, reaction with it. 
as maybe a means of control. All right, we put two additional packets of the testing substance and we're gonna see what that does. All right, final results. No indication of purple anything in there, but uh, I might leave it overnight just to watch all the stuff settle again. Doesn't even appear that there uh, are as many contaminants even in the water. I wonder if that powder solution does something to the actual contaminants. If it doesn't turn purple, it may turn them into something else or dissolve them entirely, perhaps. We'll see if that settles at all. But I think we have a confirmed analysis that uh, what is being released from the water is, in fact, not chromium. That this uh, test kit tests for here. Let's look at some specifications here. Smallest increment, 0.2 parts per million. Analysis method is the color metric diphenyl carbohydrazide. What a mouthful. Diphenyl carbohydrazide. So, um, I think, yeah, I mean, this even mentions hexavalent state of chromium and toxic, so I assume this test for the hexavalent chemical compound. So, I think, I think this is a confirm. What I will do next is get some distilled water. We'll put distilled water in these things, run this for a good long while, and see what discoloration is in uh, retrospect to the tap water I have here. I do know the tap water that I have here is chemicalized, contaminated city water. So I think, uh, I think that's a wrap. This is Stan's Revenge. 